Hi guys, so today I'm going to be unboxing my Science Interactive kit from Science Interactive online. I am taking an anatomy and physiology course for three credits in theory and one credit in um, lab. This is the lab kit. Uh, if you do this, you don't have to take it in school. Alright, so this is great. I'm going to be unboxing the kit so we can see what's inside of said kit. Here we go. Let's get right into it. So I'm going to slide that forward, open the kit. So it says, hello, scan kit for contact list. And it was inspected by Jay Stevenson. Go Jay! Right, whoever Jay is, thanks for inspecting my kit. Hopefully everything's there. So we're going to find my camera. scienceinteractive.com so we have here a six page guide so six pages so it's the welcome and all of that there so let's check the kit inventory let's see what we have here I'm going to put on my glasses <coughs> thing going on here so in the description we have underpads so we're just going to take that out I don't know what this is so here we are we have underpads Some beakers. <coughs> How many beakers? So this is one, two, three. So we have the three graduated beakers here and some pipettes. So we have one, two, three beakers. Cow eyeball. Glass beakers, little test tubes. So you can pin down this specimen. Um, face mask. I have a thermometer here. A mercury thermometer looks like. Yep. Him. We have a whole pig here. So, if anyone wants to give this pig a name, 
I would like to get this pig in there. I don't want to cut it open and don't give a name to the little piggy. Put piggy back here. So we got the pig. Brain. Graduated tubes. Underpads. Beakers. Tile. Eyeball. Eyeball. Safety kit is an apron, exam gloves, reclosable bag, and some safety glasses. So that's what's here. I'm probably out of the picture. So let's see here. No. Let's see what we here. Uh, let's see what's on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Some string. Here are the bag of pipettes that they were just wondering about. Um, we have a, a face mask. Well, I'll probably have enough masks to last a lifetime, right? And then we have some other stuff. So I have a spig mom and a man, man eater, meter, spig mom and meter, right? Blood pressure cup. <clears throat> uh, a little stethoscope here. So now I have 10 of those. Petri dish. We have a swim cap. Swim cap. I'm gonna assume that this is the dissection kit, right? Um, test tube rat. We saw that small thermometer, micro pipette. Probably a here. I'm making a big old mess over here. Um, paper clip bag. I got my gloves. Okay, so let's see what's in this hair box. See, it's colored rubber bands. Is that in here? No, but I have this kit here with all these things. So we got sucrose solution. Some corn syrup. We have some liquid starch. We have some blue dye, I guess, to stain something. We have iodine, potassium iodide. Potassium iodine. Have two of those. We have 
and bread dye. And we have 1% glucose solution. So I'm gonna say that this kit is complete. So I'm just looking for Last test plastic bag, <clears throat> got the string, and some rubber bands I'm looking for. Okay, so everything seems to be in here. <clears throat> so let's just say if you took an A and P class, this is everything that you would. In the class, only you have it on the comfort of your own comfort. Let's see what's in here. So the string and everything, paper clips and all the little tiny knickknacks they were talking about, they're all here. So everything is in the kit. Yay. So I'm happy about that. So I'm just going to pack this back up. When I do the experiments, when I do my labs, I will be filming them. So... If you've never taken an AP class before, I'm going to give you the privilege of following along with me. And that's pretty much it. I'm currently working on chapter two. So there's no experiment or anything to do with chapter two because it's dealing with chemistry and there's no um, lab for chemistry for AP. You have a bunch of labs for chemistry though. When I get to, I believe, the cellular level, there will be a, a, a lab, probably not nothing to, but when I get to the eyeball and stuff, I will let you guys know and I kind of the little Mr. Piggy there all right, so if you want to help me name my pig, um, you can leave a message. You can message me or you can leave it in the comments. It would be greatly appreciated. And thank you for watching. Bye.